All right, well, first and foremost, thank you all for being here. First ever arena football game here in the Verizon Center, Monumental Sports. And I think, you know, we delivered what we've been, what our message has been. It's a, you know, a community, family, fast paced, high scoring, a lot of, a lot of action, game changes, different type of football, but it's, it's pretty good form of entertainment. I think our guys did a good job tonight in presenting that. So very proud of the group, not just our players, but our Monumental staff for allowing this to happen. Operations was great. We had a big fan uh, base tonight. Loud, a lot of electricity in the building. Our players play, you know, it's 21 man football. I'm sorry, 21 man roster, eight on eight football. And you can see how the game gets longer and longer. You know, we had a couple of injuries and, and you can see the toughness of our guys and what they bring to this community. So we're very proud to be here uh, with the Washington Valor, myself and, and on behalf of all the front office folks and ownership. Um, again, thank you all for being here and hope you enjoyed it. Take us with the Washington Post. What was, you've been in a lot of arenas, you've coached in a lot of places. How did this environment tonight compare? Was it a little bit of a surprise to you? What no, it wasn't a surprise. We've been work, we've been doing this, I, I, it's been almost a year since I've been here. And this was our plan to come out the gate and present a product and what this league can be. And, you know, we're the model. Uh, I'll tell you what, this was, and this was playoff atmosphere in our league. It was right out the gate. It was pretty. It was pretty exciting. Coach uh, Brandon Williams from the Network. Um, was the game plan so focused around Mike Washington tonight, or was it more so of a collective um, group effort from the game? Yeah, no, it's always a group. So we only have three receivers, and then we have one extra four. So, and it really, it's all based off what the, what the coverage is on defense. And they chose to play a lot of man coverage tonight, and. Mike's, Mike's a special player, and you try to match up one on one with him, it's really hard. So, you know, he, we just took advantage of it, and Eric had some nice, you know, pinpoint throws to him. They both had a big night, but I thought collectively the whole group played well on offense. Coach Joey, is there a DTC? Got a question for you. Second half, Baltimore crept back into the game. Yeah. It's arena football, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I was asking the same thing, right? But it's arena football. So, you know, we came out and we our kick didn't go the way we planned coming out, and that set the tone for them to get a quick score. And, you know, we kind of deflated. We had a guy get hurt at halftime. He was a special team player and a, and a and defense player. We were down a guy, and they got a little momentum. They made some plays. They had a goal line stand there. We were going in pretty much to ice the game, and they stripped the ball and returned for – they made some plays, so I think some of that, you know, had to do with them. There's a lot of credit to them. Uh, some of us, you know, we're down inside the goal line or inside of 10 twice there in the third quarter. We only came away with three points, so we got to get better at that. But you got to give Baltimore a lot of credit, too. They played a really good second half. Coach, any updates on injuries? I know a couple of guys Yeah, you know, I think J.R. Collins, 42, he at halftime, doctors ruled him out. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the extent of the injury. A couple guys left the game during the game. I'll get the full medical report from our trainer. Uh, number 10, Terrence Smith, he missed a quarter, or pretty much one of the last major minutes of the second half somewhere. And I wouldn't say a whole quarter, but uh, he returned to the game. So I have him not up to date right now on the full injury. I know JR was out though at halftime. Good, thanks guys, hope you see you next time. Hope you had fun.